I just wanted to ask one more about that auto retrain because last week when Phil was on, he made the case for this idea of good practice being just to auto retrain, but he wasn't sure it was so worth it in some to most use cases or what he had seen uh, with certain companies, it wasn't needed. Do you have auto retraining going on or is that something that is not necessary? How does that work with you guys? So uh, I agree with Phil as well. I think there are some use cases where you do not need it. And I think that's the same thing for us. There are some use cases where we do enable it and some use, ca use cases where we do not. However, um, we, wh whether we enable auto retrain or not is one thing, but still being able to auto retrain is I think another thing. Um, all of our models, if we need to retrain our models on fresh data, we can. We can just click a button and it'll go retrain. And the reason for that is because if anything were to get corrupted, if anything were, um, we, we realize like, oh, we lost our model artifact, our whole like repository of our model artifacts went down. We know we can go and do it again. And we're confident in that. And that is just, you know, our backup processes. We want to make sure everything is good there. Um, and I think often we, we think like, oh yeah, everything's in the cloud, it's safe. But, you know, S3 goes down too. AWS goes down too. And we like to just have our backups um, there for those keys, for the, you know, that less than 1% of the time when things go wrong. Um, and um, it also allows us to have a level of accountability of making sure like, oh, we did what we did uh, during training and we can reproduce it. And the reproducibility aspect makes sure that if someone is leaving the company and someone new is joining, it makes sense to them what went on here and they can get the exact same model artifact once again, so it can be used um, in, in, a, in a case. So a couple of different smaller reasons there that force us to have auto retrain available still there, but it's still only enabled for certain use cases where we see data drift occurring or where we see that, oh yeah, our, our performance is varying over time. Um, yeah. 